making a sci-fi RPG where you rip out people's organs and equip them in your own body. So like, you're a cyborg, you don't really need any organs, but your body's really modular and can make use of whatever's in it. So like, uh, lungs increase movement speed, and then like, hearts increase, your uh, health regeneration, body fat increases, your maximum health and digestive tracts will increase your digestion, which affects how much you heal when you eat something, and usually what you eat is enemy corpses. So yeah, for the game, I'm thinking it's going to be like a top-down, isometric-esque shooter kind of thing with this kind of like perspective here. This is some concept art I've been working on and stuff. But yeah, this is this is the main cool part about the game. And mostly I'm just kind of winging it as I go. So I don't really know where I'm going to go with this, but I'm pretty excited to go there. Uh, so let's start at day one. Starting a new game. Uh, it's gonna be a sci-fi RPG. Pretty excited about it, and was thinking of vlogging the whole thing. Kind of want to try showing the behind the scenes of what it takes to make an entire game by yourself. So here we go, day one. Let's see here. Um, Create folder, create new project, and get out. Here we are. Let's get started. Alright, so it's been a couple hours. Um, I'll show you what I got here. So if I just run this, you can see there's a mouse aim, 3D view there I can move around. And then I also got the inventory screen up. Got some hotkeys, and this is where the main hand hotkey, and then this will be like the ground area and this will be the inside inventory thing the stats will show up here. There's actually a lot more code here than you can see. It's just I just don't have anything to actually put in here and test it out. Uh, gotta go to sleep now. But I'll work on it again in the morning. So it's a little after four right now. Get up and go to the gym and work on the game for head off to work for the day. <laughs> So going to work now. Just got off work. A couple items on the ground there. Open inventory. You can see there's a placeholder item here. So this window basically shows everything that's on the ground near you. Still don't even make so it changes position relative to where you are. And if I scroll over, you'll see a pop-up explaining what it is. I can move it around. It will slot to be in here. And if I move it too far out, it moves back. And then this is your internal body here. So this is grid-based. You just can't see the grid right now. And then this is your main hand, so you can carry one item here. And that's also your first hotkey. And then these are your other hotkeys, which you can't carry things directly on, so it puts an icon of what's there. Right now, I've just been watching uh, this show here, Story of Yang Chi Palace. It's really good. It's this like, Chinese historical drama. It's free on YouTube, too. Subtitles aren't the best there, but I definitely recommend it. It's pretty cool. Yet another morning, and I've got some more work done on this. So, a uh, cool thing I've done here is you see the item on the ground. If I open up the inventory, you can see that it gets placed. It shows up in this ground bag here um, re relative to where it is in the real world um, to the player, which is cool. And then also if I move things around here you can see it getting placed in the real world next to the player relative to where I set it. Um, another thing I've done is um, if I drag this I can rotate it and then place it in here. And it gets rotated back if I put it in the main hand. 
do a short climbing session. another day. Uh, not going to be able to do much development today. I look pretty busy afternoon, but I might be able to squeeze in like half an hour later on. We'll see. Yeah, really is a grind. You really have to micromanage your day. Just get in a little bit of time to work on things. Oh, come, come That's so fun. Uh, so, art style and character design and stuff I want to talk about. So for the art, I'm going with uh, like a flat color 3D style, which is what I used for my game Intersection. It's pretty easy to do if you're not a great 3D artist, and it looks pretty good, and it hasn't been as overdone yet as like low poly has. I feel like I feel like low poly is the pixel art of 3D nowadays. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna be using that, and then. I'm gonna make some simple environment art, which I already did. Um, but the the character, the main character, so the design of the main character is that she's like a paladin of this call it paladin of Gajesh, that's like the order. Um, and so the requirements they're all like super jack cyborgs with crazy abilities and stuff. And um, but they all take vows of nudity, so that's why she doesn't have any armor or a backpack, you can only carry stuff in her body. Um, that's the lore reason why you don't have a backpack and then so like her visual design is so all of them they don't wear anything and they grow out their hair really long so that's like a key part of the visual design and then for her since because of her ability she has a knife stabbed in her chest which is like her zipper I guess to open her backpack kind of so that's kind of like the visual design going for with her and then I'm gonna have a, a simple bandit kind of character which is like a salvager bandits on this planet people like salvage crash spacecrafts and stuff so this guy wears like a big bulky hazmat suit and just keeping it simple for now uh, and just want to have something that looks nice for like kind of the demo I'm trying to make right now or just the visual demo to show off the key ideas of the game <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
What's up, guys? Welcome to my vlog. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Uh, what's the top of the line today? Yeah, how's it going, guys? Super excited today for uh, something orange. 25. No, that's yellow. Yeah, that's yellow. Uh, those other sides. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So great. This is a quality vlog. Yeah, this is, this is how you vlog. Finally made it. That's Ken. It's like that, right? Yeah. It's dark out. Hi. 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 Hi.
that shit, now come on, you gon' have to back it up. If I get too high now, she can come on. I'ma never come down, I'ma never come down. Mommy, not ever come down. Uh, let me get down. Come on, hey, you, not ever come down. No, no, let me get down. Hey, you, not, not ever come down. I just realized I never said the name of the game. It's called Thouest Thee. I always thought that would be a cool name for a game, so now I'm naming a game that.